Goldie here, and we are running it back with Randy Orton, the undead predator, um, modern era chaotic acrobat available in uh, the feud contest this weekend. Um, I have my basic free to play friendly setup preview on my YouTube channel already, but this is going to be for those of you that have maybe slightly better options. Um, I'm going to show two different builds, both of which are the uh, five star builds. And both of which require the ultimate Opportuna Z plate. Whenever you make four or more countdown gems, increase your gem damage by 50% and reduce your opponent's gem damage by 35% for two turns. Um, so that is what we're going to be using. First build we are going to do is double purple with uh, the five star move so the shambling decapitator 6 mp 69,000 damage choose four gems to make into blue gems unearthed power slam 7 mp deal 82,000 damage make 18 random gems into one turn countdown gems that will make two random gems into blue gems at the end of the countdown and the decapitating spine crusher 6 mp 70,000 damage, three gems to make into one turn countdown gems that will make nine random gems into multiply gems of strike four. Uh, so the entourage, not all that crazy. Uh, double MP, so Lawler and Woods for blue and purple respectively. Santa Hogan for a flat 2200 to all of our gems. If you have Mem Rock, that might be the play here. I don't have him, unfortunately. And we're going to use Texina to get a fourth uh, countdown gem on the five-star move because that is what's going to allow us to triple stack uh, the Z-plate and hoping for a big turn one boom. So let's see if we can do that on the first try. I love that the snake has little... It's like he's saying hi to everybody. Look at me. I'm a snake. What's up? I'm a snake. Um, okay, so the reason we're doing double MP is so we can do all sorts of this. Countdown move once. Triggers the plate. So 26. Hit the countdown move twice. Triggers the plate. Four gems to make into blue gems. Just gonna go right here. One, two, three, four, five. Which means we can put out another set. which triggers the plate. Um, so three stacks of the Z plate has this at almost 38K per blue gem. Now this is the tricky part. We can't cascade. Yay! And the board goes boom. What's 5.3 mil between friends, huh? So that's one way to run it, uh, but there is another way. So that worked out perfectly first try, which like never happens to me. Um, but let's try a secondary version of that build. So alternate way of running it. We are taking out the second purple move and bringing in the finisher, the ZKO. 10 MP, 108,000 damage, destroy 32 random multiply gems and pin the opponent. I'm keeping the entourage intact for this one, um, but if you have max tour perks and if your Santa Hogan is 17k and you have Mr. Perfect Showboat, um, you could use those two 
to get everything ready to go on turn one. And that would free up um, a trainer spot for Matt Hardy, uh, Mutant Bailey, maybe to boost the finisher damage. Any, you know, any other trainer you'd want to use for this. It does need Texina. If you don't have him, but you have the other stuff, you could put Acro Jimmy here and then maybe Zombie Taker, Showboat Miz, Afa, King Sheamus. Some kind of blue gem damage if you're so inclined. Um, but that is the entourage you're going to run. And I have brought in a blue percent for the finisher just to get that damage even higher. And let's see what the Z plate does for this. So cute. So cute. All right. Uh, double MP means we're doing this. And that will give us one stack of the plate. This is deceiving. I'm not going to go there. This might suck, but we'll see. Hey, blessed. Okay. Trigger that again. And then we need a swipe that isn't going to cascade. I don't like this, but we're going to try it. Blessed times two. Uh, so now the board is covered. 31, but these are times four, so 126. Max Torpricks, I could have got this out another time, maybe. Um, well, on this turn, I could put it out, but I don't think it matters all that much. And uh, out of nowhere. So that was 3.4. But both fairly lethal depending on the um, trainers and coaches you have available to you. Uh, but that's the run it back on Randy Orton. I think he's fairly good without the plate if you have this plate for him. Ooh, 10. Um, if you have this plate for him, it makes him lethal. Like a viper! Oh my god! That makes sense! Um, anyways, thank you for watching. Y'all have a great rest of your day.